you said to write about what disturbs me, particularly if it bothers no one else. I'd like to write something from the point of view of the help. I want to interview you. Op 29 december verschijnt het Amerikaanse drama The Help in de Nederlandse bioscopen. Filmtotaal reist af naar het Marriott Hotel in Gent voor een interview met regisseur T. Taylor en actrice Octavia Spencer. How do you respond to that? I'd say we didn't make a movie about contemporary racism. We made a movie about relationships, about four, four, five, six, even six women who are not alike, who come together and form a bond, ordinary people, and change their lives. Um, that has nothing to do with racism. That has nothing to do with America. That has nothing to do with a critical assessment of what films should be. That's the story that was written in a book and that's the story that we told. Mm -hmm. So I would say that person should see the movie and go see what we made. It's a bit of a misconception. Uh, it's just a gross, gross misconception. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, of course this movie is very dear to you and the book as well. And you worked on it with a couple of friends. And how was it working with friends? It's the best. It's it's especially when working with friends works out. <laughs> that can often be a disaster because uh, you're so close. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of decisions to be made, but it was it was the best way to make a movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Minnie, hey, Abelene. Hey, Minnie. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of humor to the script and to the movie. Um, is this an important thing, you think, to keep uh, a little bit of a sunny side to such a heavy, uh, quite heavy subject matter? Well, I never set out to to have ointment, if you will, for sad parts. Or <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm from the South, and the author is from the South. Mm. And one thing that Southerners do in storytelling is depict life through pathos and humor. We can't help it. I never meant to even have the movie be funny and sad at certain mm -hmm. points. It's just the rhythm in which which we write and talk. It's just how we communicate. So um, it it kind of effortlessly and subconsciously is what I did. Mm -hmm. That's just how my life is. That's how when I have tragedy or great conflict in my own personal life, I throw humor at it. And if things get too funny and we lose sight of something serious, mm -hmm. drama shows up. Mm -hmm. So it just is the way I tell stories. What changed your mind? God. And Miss Hilly Holbrook. Change your thoughts and you change. I'm gonna help with your stories. We all are. Y'all brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. But you about to. Quite scandalous. Sounds like Jackson, if you ask me. You said that Catherine modeled some of the parts for me after you. Mm -hmm. um, was it difficult to um, shift between being a character and being? You. I was the, never me. You're never you. No, I'm never me. What Catherine modeled after me is her size mm -hmm. and um, the fact that she's feisty. Um, uh, so that that was that's what I played. I played, uh, but you know, when you walk into a character and you're her height and weight, that's about all. You you don't play that. That's just who you are. Mm -hmm. um, everything else was it was all her creation and and uh, collaboration with Tate to, to make her as real as possible. You tell Abeline. Do I have plans for her? You are godless woman. Final question. Um, you've had to face quite a lot of um, adversity, some problems, uh, making the movie and making the book happen uh, at first. Um, do you have a tip for a uh, tip for future um, filmmakers, the aspiring filmmakers, to make it happen? If somebody tells you no, that just means they're wrong. That's how I've always operated. Just be stubborn. Just be stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. And uh, if you don't quit, 
no one can say you failed. It may take 17 years. <laughs> But real, but honestly, also listen to people. Have have mentors in your life. Have people that you trust who will tell you the truth, because you don't want to fight for something that that needs needs work. Because <laughs> then you look crazy. <laughs> don't be blindly, blindly stubborn. God bless you. We're going done in now. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.